What's going on? This is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. And today I want to talk to you guys about the placement of your bar and how this could ruin your wedding if not careful. Hey, what's going on? My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment and I have a DJ company in Portland, Oregon. And today I wanna to talk to you guys about uh, room design and the placement specifically of a bar and how this can dramatically affect your wedding. We did a wedding this past weekend in Chehalis, Washington, but one of the things that happened at this wedding uh, that I wasn't prepared for, um, they kind of made a last minute decision is where they place the bar and how this dramatically affected my event. So uh, this wedding was in a barn. Um, this barn was called the Barn on Jackson. And we we knew there was gonna be a tight space. Um, we know that we had to do a room flip. The ceremony was gonna be on one side. Then we we're gonna clear the tables and move the tables around for dinner. Um, we knew that we were gonna have a cocktail area down below. Um, but we thought upstairs there was going to be a bar for the dance party and the only bar they ended up keeping was the one down below and this became problematic because when it came to the dance party it started up top but once people realized all the alcohol was down below and they had some games down below everybody stayed downstairs and there was only a couple people upstairs for the dance party and it can dramatically affect the overall feel of the room depending on where the bar is. I've had bars that are like out in the field, like 300 feet away. So in my consultation meetings now, pretty much require, I want the dance floor in the middle, I want my DJ booth right in front, no tables uh, in the way of speakers so it's not uncomfortable for guests, and I want to have the bar as close as I can to the dance floor because I can play the best songs, but I can't play a song that's better than alcohol. Wherever alcohol is, that's where the people are gonna be. So for this particular wedding, we did a uh, dance party that's upstairs, and then I took up our backup system and put it down below, and then we put on some mixes for the cocktail area so people had music, they could still have a little bit of a dance party. Not an ideal situation, but it's the way that we kind of thought on our feet, like, hey, let's make the best of this moment. Let's let them have good listening music uh, down below so it's not dead silent. And then if people want to come up for a dance party up above, we had our dance party set up, all our dance music going on upstairs. And so we also did a little contrast in music where we had a little bit higher energy dance party upstairs with different types of music. And so people could listen to music, enjoy themselves down below. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Alex with DJ Cut Entertainment. If you guys have any other questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you guys.